The start to the year has been marred by exceptional volatility, with the VIX increasing by over 40% in the calendar year, and a rout in the South African equity market and the RAND, down over 8% to the dollar. Resource stocks have found some repri temporary reprieve, as gold edged above $1,100 briefly last week, although it has since declined to trade at around $1,088 today. The weak investor sentiment has also been reflected in Brent crude, which traded under $30, currently at $28.55 per barrel at the time of print, rallying slightly after its collapse on Friday. We have just started to scrape the surface of the U.S. earnings calendar, and investors will be hoping stronger numbers from some of the bigger names, particularly in the financial sector, will help the U.S. bounce back from one of its worst starts to the year in recorded trading history. The local index has struggled to find some support after a weak start to the year, although it is receiving some support today from a rebound in Mr. Price, along with some Rand hedge stocks and oversold financials, now trading up over 1% in morning trade. Locally, retailers have led out of the gates with trading updates, but some have left a lot to be desired, in particular Mr. Price on Friday, which was sold off over 17% after weaker single-digit sales numbers. In international economic data, traders will be keeping a wary eye on Chinese industrial production numbers tomorrow, along with retail sales, UK inflation, and the Eurozone ZDW survey expectations. On Wednesday, we are expecting local inflation data with retail sales information. An interest rate decision from the European Central Bank is expected on Thursday, and the rest of the week is dominated by U.S. housing starts, building permits and inflation data, as well as Eurozone inflation, manufacturing PMI, and finally U.S. manufacturing PMI on Friday.